Live with Azar, Mazen the Simpa. We're in Azar right now. And we have some Mitzvah Manot over here because it's almost her in time. Happy Purim! Oh, uh, really and one of the facts. Here you are. <laughs> and one of the fun facts about Purim is that cities that don't have a wall from the time of Yehoshua do not c- celebrate Shushan Purim instead of Purim itself. We would have thought that maybe cities that had walls during the times of Purim don't celebrate, uh, don't celebrate regular Purim, but in fact, it's from the times of Yehoshua. All right, come on in. Welcome. So the first little corner in my house is about Rosh Hashanah. So Rosh Hashanah takes place on Olive Tishrei, and we have apples and honey over here, and a pasuk that just talks about the four different times of the year that are considered Rosh Hashanah. And one of the fun facts about Rosh Hashanah is that if the rabbis make a mistake in calculating the date, the days of the year, like let's say maybe it's Lamed Elul or in fact Yom Tishrei, um, that still counts as Rosh Hashanah, and we can still dive in like we do on Rosh Hashanah. Okay. Next step over here is Yom Kippur. So we have a kitzel, a gizzard light, and Crocs because we don't wear our leather shoes, and we have kitzel of course. And one of the fun facts about Yom Kippur is that the Sel Azazel that gets pushed off the cliff that represents all of our sins and, and that gets us kapara also has a red string tied to its leg and that um, turns white once Hashem forgives us. Okay, come in for a living room. So right now it's Hanukkah. Um, we have our menorah. Um, we have a cradle. Uh, cradle, candle. Um, my daughter is playing the on the floor right oh, now. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the wall, we just have some pictures of, like, classic food colleges, ah. the Shoshana, uh, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. Um, and here, we have Obama? two whips. He's been learning all night. He has coffee, he has his Mishka, <laughs> and his Moe. Um, and he's just been learning all night. Now, for two runs, he's like, what page do you I broke our, uh, mino- mini menorah. This is a picture of Rabbi Hida Hanaki, who wrote, um, he compiled the Mishnah. We have a um, Seder Moe, we just have some more Sepharim, some more books. Um, okay. <laughs> Family Welcome to Shabbat. Um, the Lachat Shabbat, which is one of the most basic principles on Shabbat, doesn't appear in Mesech Shabbat. It's in another Mesech. Come on in, we're home, and we welcome Shabbat. Also on the wall, we have some giant candles because um, almost every single Jewish holiday we light candles, and every single Jewish holiday is much easier. I mean, good Shabbos, everybody! Oh, thank you for coming to our home. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Okay, may I offer you some grape juice? Purple. We have some grape juice, some purple grape juice, anything you need. Okay. As you can see here, in our dining room, we also have a mural of Har Sinai and Malucho, green and yellow, for the other two teams, and with purple flowers on top. Um, Shavuot is on Vav Sivan, and so over the years it's been developed that people stay up all night learning, but that wasn't actually written down anywhere. Once coffee became popular, people started staying up all night and learning. That's really interesting. <laughs> okay, so this is our kosher for Pesach kitchen. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. If you have any comments, please leave it outside because as you can see, it's already kosher. It's very clean in here, so just please make sure that any comments to be done. Take your comments out. Please, please take it outside. Okay, so Pesach is on Pesach is on. And so this is our kosher of Pesach kitchen. And fun fact about Pesach is that you can do the tikkat chameh before you leave your house, before Pesach. But if you're not staying in your house and you're leaving within the month of Pesach, you do the tikkat chameh whenever you leave then. Like if you're leaving the beginning of the month, you do it then, even if it's not Pesach yet. Okay. So. Okay. I need to get some light light kitchen. Can I some pasta? Please take some. You don't have to, but <laughs> thank you. It's great. Okay, then we move on to our bathroom, which is representing both um, Avela and Purim. So, fun fact about Avela is that you wouldn't think that Avela would be put in Moed if it's talking about all the holidays. It doesn't really fit. So, it, there was nowhere else to put it, so they put it there's 
um, there's Moet Kassan, which the beginning part talks about Chol Moet, so the end part talks about Avelas. So we have a um, covering over the mirror. During Avela, you can't look in the mirror. And then the rest of the bathroom is for Purim. We have the costumes and the makeup and everything for people to get ready for Purim. Okay. And then don't forget to say yes, sorry, sorry, please. <laughs> and the toothpaste is just for fun? Yeah, because this is our shower. <laughs> Um, now you're on our patio, so I think it's raining. Um, so one of the um, last talks on in Moed is talking about is Tanis, and it talks about um, whether or not you fa- like if rain doesn't come, like when it's supposed to rain in Israel, you fast, passing us on for rain. And a fun fact is that even today we still in Israel fast if we don't have rain. Okay, so coming to our sukkah. Welcome to my sukkah, everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, so our sukkah um, has the different colors. It has green, yellow, and purple uh, to represent all the teams of this color war. And sukkah uh, starts on Pesach Tishrei. And here's a part that talks about sukkah. And the machloket that these girls are learning about right now actually uh, was ori- originated in the times of Rashi. It's not one of the more ma- modern machloket that talks about whether or not we sit in the sukkah on Shemini Atzeret. Um, so that's it for now. Wow. Uh, Thank you so much. Oh, we just want to mention that the 